Hi, my name is Avi Bahar of the Bahar Group. I'm sitting here on what could very well be the hottest day of the year. <laughs> I'm in downtown Toronto on College Street at Kaplansky's. I'm with Mr. Zane Kaplansky. We're going to have a conversation about all kinds of things. Smoke me! <laughs> Great idea. Nice to see you, Zane. Thanks, Abby. You talked briefly about food trucks, and you've obviously been at the, at the forefront of, of the food truck movement in, in Toronto. How did that all come about? Where did you start when that happened? It started at the uh, Broken Social Scene and Pavement Show on Toronto Island uh, in 2010. And I, uh, I set up a smoke meat slicing station. There's 10,000 concert goers. People literally stood in line for over two hours, and we were trying to slice meat as fast as we could. And I was aware of what was happening with food trucks in the United States. Uh, and I thought to myself, you know what? I want to have the first food truck in Toronto. And, and uh, I turned to a friend of mine, and, and uh, he plays with Sloan. And I said, you know, I think I want to launch a food truck. And he said, you should go on Dragon's Den. And that sort of changed everything for me because uh, that led to four different appearances on that show. And then all of the Food Network stuff I've done as well. And all that television awareness has really sort of helped differentiate and propel our brand and our business, but uh, has been a great uh, attention getter for the business for sure. And now, now that we actually do have a food truck industry in Toronto, and we have regulations that we can live with, um, I'm, uh, I'm confident that I've really helped change the street food culture in the city, and culture change is hard, and I'm really proud of what I've done. Let's talk a little bit about um, the real estate rollout. Speak a little bit towards your vision. Sure. So, so essentially what happened with us was a few years ago I got called by uh, HMS Host at the airport and they invited us to open up two stores there. And uh, that experience has been so incredibly um, positive that we can maintain the quality there, that we can give people a great experience there. That really convinced me that we could go for it. How do you scale a great corner restaurant into a great national chain? We want to be Canada's first national deli chain. And we did a search for who in the real estate business can help us locate great properties. Bahar Group does. You've done franchise rollouts for, for companies. You've been able to be strategic when you're looking at the kind of business and the kind of neighborhood. And I believe in the idea of a partnership for success. And I, and I see you guys as my real estate partners. And I know now in my education through this learning curve that Franchise rollouts are all about real estate and operators. And so the Bahar Group is taking care of the real estate part, and we're looking after finding great operators who will be our franchisees in new locations. Clearly, you're a very driven person, you're a creative person, and you're adaptable. And what I found with my experience in food service and in other businesses, their successes really come through their adaptability and the changes that they've been able to make over time. Avi, my idea of success is just survival. I never dreamed of having uh, as many locations and all the catering business, food truck, retail, wholesale, franchise, you know, what we have here. So realizing I've survived, and not just survived, but I've, I've built a brand to a level where I can now look at going into other cities. Real estate is the cornerstone. Location, location, location. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's that simple. But it's not just like any location. Working with you and your team uh, you're finding us great spots, and you understand how it all works together, how the pieces fit. If you take this spot, you can't do these two. If you do this one, and so that strategic level of thinking, it's not about getting me to sign a lease. It's about making sure that I'm successful and that that success builds on the next wave of rollouts. That's right. I mean, it's, it's you know, we've talked about this before. It's about hitting a grand slam on every location. Right. And concurrently, always keeping the bigger picture vision in mind so that we're not making a mistake by hitting a double on one site, and then we, we lose the opportunity to uh, bat some runs in later on. Yeah, and you know, guys like you, you know, your experience, positive and negative with other customers and clients in the, in the past, I bring that, that wisdom to bear on what we're doing now and, and being able to rely on experts. You know, I could, I could try and negotiate leases on my own, I could try and find my own spaces, but leveraging your experience and leveraging your uh, wisdom and that of your team is really why we're working together. Well, and it's very important to us. And like I say, we believe in you and we believe in what you're doing. And uh, I think there's massive potential. I, I think it really deserves uh, the right team of professionals. And I think as we continue to communicate, uh, good things will happen. Me too. It's, uh, 
it's been an honor and a pleasure, uh, not just to sit down and have a chat at your deli, but, but to work together and to you know, blend our lives. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next steps. Yeah, me too. I mean, you know, we've been sitting here for 20 minutes and no one's even brought us a menu. I don't even know <laughs> the service in this place is terrible. Where are we? <laughs> what kind of place is this? This has Thanks, been great. Sorry. My pleasure, Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.